Good evening, everyone. Oh, I hope I live in the right spot. I'm just realizing. <laughs> Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Stampin' Up! with Jamie. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to be here with you tonight. I've missed you guys so much. I had to take a couple weeks off. Please, as you're coming in, please let me know that I'm live in the right spot. That you, Please share where you're watching from um, and a little bit about yourself. I'd love to see where everyone's from. Did you get snow today? We got a little snow. Not a whole lot. Kind of dusting. Barely stuck. But um, yeah, we got some snow, which I'm super, super excited about. I wasn't expecting it, but hello everyone come on in please tell me um where you're watching from my name is jamie and i'm here in upstate new york i am a stampin up demonstrator for about six years now not quite six years almost six years hello denise is here hello hi everyone it's been a couple weeks it's been a week or two like literally so I had a cancel two weeks ago because of Christmas. Thank you, Beth, so much for letting me know. I always have like this paranoia that I'm like not, I'm like live on my personal page. Um, and then last week I had a dear friend visiting, so I canceled last week. So here I am, a flu few flurries. Oh, I want a big snowstorm, that's what I want. Hello, Debbie, how's everyone tonight? How are you doing? How's everyone holding up? I know, um, hello, Marsha from Texas. Uh, I know this season can be very busy. It can be a little kooky crazy. Uh, I hope you're well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and um, and all the good things. So where, what did you just say? Where in upstate? I am outside of, um, I'm in Albany. I'm in Albany. Are you local? Who was that? Marsha said that. Marsha, are you local? Are you close to me? Where are you? Vancouver. Hello, Noelle. Are you getting snowed on? I wish, Karen, I wish it would just dump it, like, like, two feet. Oh my goodness, I would be so happy. <laughs> I love snow so much. I'm like a big kid. I just love it. I love seeing it fall. I love when you wake up in the morning after a snowstorm and it's like dead silent, especially if like school's been canceled, like snow, a snow day, and it's like dead cam dead silent and the plows haven't come through and it's just like a light, like a sheet of snow and like it's like twinkling on the branches and it's so quiet. We haven't had snow yet. I'm dreaming. <laughs> it's snowing there where you are, Jill. I'm so jealous. Send it this way, would ya? <laughs> okay, let's talk, talk a couple things, okay? I haven't been around for a couple weeks, so, and I apologize, God bless my son can't quite get mad at him because he did his laundry without me having to ask but it's like literally on the other side of this wall and so it's still running and you may hear it so i'm sorry um oh my gosh in buffalo i'm sure you're used to getting a lot of snow then okay a couple things free shipping oh the angels are singing uh free shipping going on today only one day only on any 50 dollar order um, you get um, free shipping, okay? And with your $50 order, you're also gonna get a free $10 item for me, so that's like a win-win um, today only, okay? So make sure you get your order in. Renice, I'm so happy you're here. Hello, Zara, my friend. <laughs> I just texted you. Um, okay, so free shipping, okay? Today only, don't miss out. This is a great savings. Um, just think you can get more stuff with what you would have paid for shipping. So, you know, treat yourself to an extra little goodie here or there and, um, you know, take advantage of it. You can shop from jamieb.com. That's my catch-all link. You can shop there, you can join there, you can get my email from there. It's like my catch-all. Thank you so much for sharing, I appreciate it. Jamie B, you have to spell it right though. J-A-I-M-I-B, I put the link somewhere in the comments. I don't know if it's up or if it's down, but it's somewhere here <laughs> um, in the description of this post. Okay, A, B, uh, my product share for the, oh my gosh, I didn't bring it downstairs. Oh wait, hold on, should I go get it? Where is it? Hold on, I can get it. There it is. There we go. <laughs> okay, my product share for the 2022 January to June mini catalog is live. It is open, it's amazing, it's wonderful. And if you're not familiar with a product share, it's a great way to get like a sampling of everything 
without you having to buy one of everything, okay? I buy one of everything. <laughs> and then I cut it up, I chop it up, I split it up, I pack, repackage it, I label it, and then that's what you get. So all the designer series paper, sorry, you're gonna get a glare, get cut into six by six if you're looking for a single share, six by six. They all get labeled very nicely with the name of the product, the product number, and then coordinating colors in a reusable cellophane bag. So you can open it and reseal it. That's how the DSP come. Ribbons and embellishments also get repackaged um, in a resealable cellophane bag. They get labeled with the product number, okay? So that's kind of what my product shares look like. And I have a couple of options depending on what you're looking for. And um, that is live right now. Now, literally, like literally, about 10 minutes ago, I just set up a link that will take you directly to my product share. Normally it takes a little like a couple of time like a couple of hours for that link to kick in but maybe by some act of god it's available. You should be able to go to productshare.jamieb.com and that should take you right to the form. If it's not working yet you can just go to my blog and it's in the menu, okay? To get my product share. Included in some of the product shares is some free products so you're going to want to check those out. That's number two. Number three, I am super, super, super over the moon excited um, to announce that my next, there it is, my next event is open for registration. Quite honestly, it's kind of always been open for registration, um, but I just sat down with Zara, my dear friend in Canada, and we hashed out the details, okay? Oh, Judy, I'm so, so sorry you've been sick. I hope you do better. I'm sorry. That makes me so sad for you. Um, Stamp Camp, January 22nd. It starts at 1030 Eastern Time. It will run most of the day. It's going to include make and, 10 make and takes, stamping presentations. Um, you're going to get a swag bag, swag bag of product, um, prize patrol, and just overall good fun time, okay? The cost for that is $60 plus shipping. I haven't determined what shipping is yet. It's really gonna come down to if I can get it in a priority mailer or if it's gonna have to go in a box. Let's fingers crossed I can get in a mailer, but if not, it's gonna have to be a medium sized box. Um, $60, okay, and um, you're gonna love it. We decided like what product we're showing, and I would tell you, but you probably don't have your catalogs yet. I mean, maybe you do. Um, and you can have the option to add on the additional stamp sets. I'll give you a heads up that if you have your catalogs now, maybe you're a demonstrator or whatever, I am going to be uh, designing make and takes for with the, let me get you the official name. Let me look at the catalog, even though I know you can. I'm going to be making, uh, making takes using the flowering fields. It's the tulip um, stamp set. And my friend Zara is going to be designing using the artfully composed stamp set, which is, or actually it's technically the artfully layered stamp set, um, which is like the, the tropical one, okay? And um, so just lots of fun. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to connect with you and have some laughs and make some cards and just connect with you. I feel like stupid COVID is still going on. And I mean, this is the next best thing to meeting a person. And so I am just through them. Oh, oh, I forgot. There's pillow gifts too. There's also two pillow gifts. I forgot. So um, <laughs> pillow gifts, two pillow gifts, 10 make and takes. Stamping presentations, a uh, swag bag of product, prize patrol. I think I covered them all, okay? I also just set up a link. <laughs> Again, this should work. You should be able to go to stampcamp.jamieb.com. Should bring up the form. The form has more information and whatnot. I do have to update it with the two add-on stamps that you can add, but for now, you'll at least get registered. Registration closed. January 3rd. Okay. It's going to be so much fun, Rudy's. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You know what? Here's the brilliance of paper crafting. And this is what I love that if it wasn't for technology, 
we wouldn't be connecting, right? Because <laughs> I'm sure you're all across the country and all spread from West Coast to East Coast. But we all have this common love that ties us together. And it's what I love because maybe I don't know your ins and outs of your life or your personal goings on. And you don't know mine, but we automatically are united and have this common passion and love and hobby and it's what motivates me and it's what connects us together and I always say it's so much more than just stamps and ink and I believe that to my deepest core okay now enough chattering <laughs> jamieb.com and then you can put productshare.jamieb.com you could do catalogs.jamieb.com and you can do productshare. Did I already say that one? Stampcamp.jamieb.com. Okay, J-A-I-M-I-E-B, as in boy. Why do my parents have to put two I's in there? I will, I forever am spelling my first name out. <laughs> okay, I am using product from the celebration catalog. Oh, I do have it right here. Okay, so let me flip my camera around so you're looking down. It's a super simple layout, one that you could easily replicate, which I love. Um, and it uses like some scraps, okay? So let me flip you down and we'll get going, okay? I don't know if you heard that, but as I was um, tightening the, whatever that's called, my wrists were cracking. It was like, crack, crack. <laughs> Sorry about that if you heard that. I'm not sure if you did. Okie dokie. Which, by the way, customers of mine, I apologize. As of this morning, my catalog still haven't shipped <laughs> from Stampin' Up. So it's going to be a little while for you to still receive um, catalogs from me. I apologize immensely. As soon as they get to me, I literally have everything ready and it's going to go right back out to you. But just so you know that things are taking a little long. Um, the stamps that I'm using today is from the celebration catalog. It's going to run the 4th of January to the 28th of February, February of 2022. And it is a brochure that is full of savings, free product, different ways to get to free product. And one of the ways of getting free product is with just a qualifying order. For example, this one here, the awesome odd, it comes from the awesome otter stamp set is free with a $50 order. Now let me tell you, let me tell you what page it's on. It's not that you have your catalogs yet, but so you can open it. Oh goodness, okay, page 11. Okay, it's on page 11 and it's super cute. Um, We got a couple of different otters here. I love this one. I really wanted to use this guy, but I don't know, I went with him. I just love how he's holding the little fish. How cute is that, right? Uh, awesome otters, free with a $50 order starting January 4th. There's lots and lots of product in the celebration catalog. I can't show you the inside. I want to so bad, but you can kind of get a little sneak peek down here. There's a little girl that has like a net. She's catching butterflies. Um, there's a, a car with like different things coming off of it. Um, we have some marbled paper. We have paper that goes with the daffodils and we have paper that goes with the rainbows. Okay. So what I'm going to do, really simple card. This is kind of my jam. This is what I like to do and keep it really simple. It's a great way to use up some of your uh, scrap designer paper and keep things really simple, okay? This is one that I'm gonna, it's just a card front with a little bit of texture. Can you see the texture on there? And uh, four panels of DSP and then two labels, okay? Super easy. So let's just get going. I am gonna switch just one component of the card because, you know, why not? Oh, let me tell you also, see, I just am so excited to be here with you. I forgot. This here, my DSP ribbon, I'm going to give away, okay? So um, at the very uh, end of my live, I'm going to throw all your names into a hat. So make sure you've made a comment of some sort. It can even be an emoji if you want. I'm going to put all your names in a hat. And one person will win um, a sample of the Heart and Home DSP and a sample of the a yard. So this is yard of the denim ribbon, okay? So make sure you make a comment of some sort. I'm going to do that when all is said and done, okay? So I'm starting off with Knight of Navy. This is um, five and a half by four and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Thanks, ladies, for sharing. I appreciate it. Hello, Tammy. Good evening. 
Then I took um, a smaller panel of Knight of Navy and it's just one eighth bigger. So this panel here is four and a quarter by five and a half. My panel is five, uh, is four by five and a quarter. Okay, so actually it's a quarter shorter. And I like doing this a lot because sometimes I want a little texture on my card front, but I don't necessarily want the entire card front. Kind of just want like a, a little subtlety. And that's what I really, that's kind of my jam <laughs> when I'm crafting. I love like subtle details. So this here is embossed in one of our new embossing folders, which I put somewhere. Where in the world did I put it? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Is it really not here? Why can I not find it? It's our, one of our new embossing folders and I literally can't find it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I threw it back in my drawer. It was where it was supposed to be. <laughs> um, the gingham embossing folder, okay? It's not a 3D embossing folder, but you still get a lot of texture on this paper. Um, the front and the back, I, uh, it has ever so slightly different look to it, but very similar. And uh, this is going to be available again beginning January 4th in the new upcoming uh, mini catalog. Okay, gingham embossing folder. It's a must. And so when I'm looking to add just a little bit of texture and I don't necessarily, I just want like a little detail. I do this a lot. So one quarter shorter, just the front, and I emboss that using the gingham paper. I love doing this. You probably, you're like, you do this all the time, Jamie. I don't know about you, but when you find kind of something you like, I don't know, you tend to default to that. So you probably see me do this a lot. And then one thing I switched up is um, the blue. So for my sample here, I used a balmy blue pattern from the Subtles uh, Designer Series paper. Okay. But for tonight, I'm going to go with a pool party pattern. Ooh, <laughs> three Ps, pool party pattern. Hold on. It is a pattern in the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. This is part of the Celebration catalog. It coordinates uh, beautifully with the, um, what's it called? <laughs> Rainbows, Rainbow of Happiness. It coordinates with the Rainbow of Happiness uh, bundle, but it is a, a product that you can earn for free with a $50 item. So we have... I don't know. Did I already pull these out? Oh, it looks like I pulled these out already. Hold on. I can just scoop these. It has patterns like this. Okay. And this is free with a $50 order and really bright. Oh, that's doubled. I don't know if I have all the one of all the patterns, but you're going to get an idea of it. Really bright, fun colors. Oh, I already have that one. Do I already have that one too? I'm sorry. I might be replicating here. I didn't put much thought into making sure I got all the patterns. Uh, really bright, colorful. And then the other side is a little bit more um, like um, patterns. One's more graphics, one's more patterns, okay? You'd like that second one I pulled out? Which one was that? This one? Isn't that so fun? Maybe it's that one. I love this. This is why I love designer paper. So let me just go on a, a two second tangent, right? You put a pattern on the card front a simple sentiment, tie a ribbon, add a couple of rhinestones around, and you're done, okay? And these paper are so fun and bright and cheerful that they really don't need much else. So if you're someone, you're like, I don't know how to use designer paper, I find it overwhelming, cut it down, make it the entire card front, get a really fun sentiment, fun bow, a couple of embellishments, and you're done. Like, it does all the work for you. So this pattern here is this guy here that's on the opposite side of it. And again, this will be free with a $50 order beginning January 4th in the celebration catalog. Okay, so, oh, the navy one, this one here, I think it's Misty, that might be Misty Moonlight, let me check. It is Misty Moonlight, yep, Misty Moonlight is the, is the dark uh, blue in this. Love it. So pretty. Okay, so all I'm going to do, I have um, cut four little panels of that DSP. They measure three. So I cut three and then I cut them in one inch strips. So three by one. And I'm literally just kind of making them all sorts of wonky. So if you struggle and you're like, I can't, if I were to do like four straight, 
<laughs> you may be like, there's no way I'm getting those evenly straight. No problem. I got gotcha. you. I hear you. I'm the same way. So just purposely make them wonky. I mean, like if you can't adhere it straight, then go with it, right? Um, just go with the bend as opposed to trying to make something that you already struggle with. If you have a hard time putting things straight, then purposely not make them straight. Okay, that's kind of my approach. And there's no really right or wrong. I think I'm doing these a little differently than I did here. They're a little different. But I'm going to put them all down and then I'm going to sort of take one off at a time and put it back on. The only thing is make sure that in this case, the swirls are kind of going in the same. Well, I guess you could also switch that up. But I kind of want to make sure all the swirls are sort of going in the same direction. And there's no wrong or right way to do this. You literally just, whatever looks good is how you should do it. And don't overthink, mostly because it's going to be covered a lot by our otter. So I did switch up the colors. This here is a pool party. This one's balmy blue. So you'll have to let me know at the end which one you like. Okay. And then we're going to stamp my otter which I have a panel of basic white sitting here and I have my otter um, on a block ready to go. I'm gonna use Stampin' Blends, so I'm gonna stamp my otter in Memento Black. If you're using Stampin' Blends, it is the black that you will want to use. And I'm gonna stamp that on. Now you wanna make sure that when you stamp that you leave, where's my sample? That you leave enough room to cut them out, right? Like it's not a super tight cut, so you know, don't do it too close to the end. And then we're going to do some coloring. I'm using Pool Party for, I'm going to use Pool Party for my waves and Crumb Cake for the otter. Now, I did two-tone otter color. <laughs> Two-toning otter. <laughs> I don't know. But all I did was still use Crumb Cake, okay? So I used the light Crumb Cake for his mouth. And I just used the light one. That's all I used. And just kind of go, I would definitely use the ball and the ball tip on this, especially when going around um, the little splashes. I love the little splashes. I think they're so cute. Okay, and then I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And then I'm going to come in with my dark and do the same thing. I'm just going to use the dark and that is enough of a contrast, contrast, even though I'm sticking with the crumb cake, enough of a contrast that I can, it looks like two different colors, but it's not, one color. One color, two different markers. And then because you can kind of build the color, I can come back in with the same one. So um, once I'm done here, I'm gonna come right back over it with the dark crumb cake, and it's gonna give it some shadowing. So you don't always have to use the same marker to blend. Okay, that's what it looks like with just uh, one, one coat, one, <laughs> you know me, I don't know these words, one layer, one layer, that's the word I'm trying to think of. One layer, I'm just gonna come in and add some dark spots. And the same with the crumb cake, I'm gonna come in and I'm not gonna go too far out, I just kinda wanna go around the edges just a little to add a little, um, extra color, darken it just a smidge. I didn't do his nose. Maybe I should do his nose. I don't know. What color is an otter's nose? I have no idea. I did not Google that ahead of time. For now, I made a crumb cake. That's what, when I think of an otter's nose, that's the color that comes to mind. I'm going to do the same thing with the water. I'm going to come in with the dark pool party in this case and do the little splashes that are coming up in the dark shade. And then I'm gonna come back with the light pool party and color in the rest. And this is a great way, if you're looking to get multiple shades of color out of one set of markers, um, just color them, use, act them, act. I'm so tongue-tied. Act as if there's two separate markers. Treat them as two separate colors is what I'm trying to say. Holy cow, I cannot get the words to come out properly. Oh my goodness. Oh my gravy. Oof. It's okay. I know you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like I need an interpreter tonight. I'm all tongue-tied. Okay. 
Okay, and then I want my splashes to be a smidge darker, so I'm just gonna go over them again. You can just keep building that color, making it darker. That's why I love these markers. Two markers, but you can get so many different shades of that color out of them. Oh, I missed the little otter ear, look. Oh dear, hold on, hold on, we gotta do some otter surgery. Holy cow, I almost made him a one-eared otter. There we go. Okie dokie. Now, well, let me see up the sentiment too, because then I'll just cut them both out of the side. You missed this. You, you caught it, Joan. You totally caught it before I did, that's for sure. Um, I'm using, there's two sentiments that we can use. It's a birthday time. Love the cute little birthday hat. But I'm going to go, because you know me, I love puns. I am a sucker for puns. I love them. I think they're hysterical. I laugh way too hard at them. So you are utterly awesome. Oh, I mean, it's funny, right? Come on. You have to admit that's a funny pun. I love puns. I'm all over that. So I don't know. How about we stamp that there? Oh, I smidged it. Hold on. I smidged. Let's try that again. Take two. Don't rock, don't rock, don't rock. Much better. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to use, oh gosh, I've used these so much. Hippo and Friends dies. Okay, these are, uh, well, look, you'll see how well loved they are. Ready for this? Ta-da! That's how well loved they are. Um, I use them all the time. They are, they have the most fabulous layer uh, labels in them. So you have this kind of, you have this sort of shape and then you have this Shorter, shorter shape that I'm using tonight. And then you have this one as well. So you have three kind of different shapes here. The best labels, hands down. Even if you're not into the unicorns, what else is in that? Unicorns, butterflies, and sheep. The labels are a good enough reason to get the dies. Honest to goodness. Uh, I love puns too. So I ordered the December paper pumpkin. Yes, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait. It's going to be all punny and amazing, and I'm going to laugh as I put them together. So as you're putting your paper pumpkin together, think of me because I love puns. Okay. Yes. Agreed, Renice. I use them all the time. All the time. So this guy here, this is the one that measures like three inches wide, is going to cut the otter out. And then the one that's about two inches wide is going to cut the sentiment. And I'm going to try and do them together. But no guarantees. Let's see if I can really test my skills here. Oh, I may not be able to. Let's see. Oh, maybe I can. Okay, so just a reminder, if you're just catch, hopping on, I'm going to do a giveaway at the very end. Um, giving away a sample of DSP and new ribbon. Whoops. So make sure you stick around to the end. Don't go anywhere. I don't want you to miss out. Okie dokie. Here we go. Make sure it's opening the right way. This otter is going to go here. Now, let's see. I have a little smidge there. It's very, very small, but I'm going to switch switch around my sentiment and put my sentiment to cover. Um, because let's face it, that is the purpose of a sentiment. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of a sentiment of an embellishment of anything is to cover our mistakes. And so that is the beauty of card making that I can um, move them around to sort of um, <laughs> fix my oops. Look at this. Someone's been using dimensionals. Hmm. <laughs> of course, always. Always on every single card. Rarely, rarely, rarely in six years of being a demo or in all my time of making cards have I made a card that doesn't have dimensionals okay so ooh, ooh, what's what's going on there hello okay otter is gonna go on first I don't this dimensional backing will not leave me alone <laughs> Karen it's the only way I, I use them Karen um I'm gonna kind of have this overlap so I only put dimensionals on my left side and let's see here. Let's try and get them straight. Yeah, like that. I think my sentiment's a little wonky. And eh, like a smidge. Not too, too bad. I'm not going to fix it, but it's a little low and to the right. But that's okay. Now, here's the thing I did not think about. For my sample here, I use the... What are these called? Arti artistry blooms? Artistic blooms? Something like that. Um sequins they're so fun but i didn't think this guy through what should i use let's see what do i got 
What do I got? What do I got? No, that's not the right color. How about I use these? These are fun. These are also new in the new catalog and they're called the classic matte dots. So these will be included in my product shares. All the new DSP and all the new ribbons and embellishments are included in the my product shares. And you can just get DSP, you can just get ribbon and embellishments, or you can get a combination of both. Um, I have a couple of options, okay? So this is classic matte, matte dots. It comes in white, vanilla, basic gray, and black. I think I'll just use uh, my, oh my gosh, Karen. I just love that comment. Can we just... Just have a moment of a moment of silence. Your card is ottersome. I love it. I love the pun. You had me at your pun. Oh my goodness, I love it. Did I want to do that there? Yes, I wanted to do that there. Okay, so I'm just I don't know. I'm not overthinking this. They do come in two sizes, sort of small and large. <laughs> and I just did a small one up here, a small one down there, and then a large one. Oh, Missy, you're gonna love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that for the card front. And then for the inside, like super duper easy, I just have a half an inch by five and a quarter of that same DSP. And I'm going to put it on my basic white panel. Whoops, as I'm literally throwing things around, uh, which is uh, four by five and a quarter. So just a little strip on the bottom. Because it's utterly awesome, I'm probably going to want to write a big message. So I'm not going to like stamp anything. I'm going to leave space for me to write and put that in there and then last but not least i remember to cut a strip for our envelope except i don't have all my envelopes are upstairs i'm gonna have to open a new one all my envelopes are upstairs because i finished mailing my christmas cards have you finished mailing your have you well, how about this have you finished making your christmas cards <laughs> have you finished making and then if you have have you finished mailing your christmas card i just asked my team today if i pulled them <laughs> to see where everybody's at oh have fun with it missy honestly listen even if you're not into otters the simple layout ready card front with some texture four panels of dsp a focal image in the center and a sentiment kind of next to it easy peasy okay you can honestly make this work for about anything look at you guys mailing out your christmas cards mine went out a batch went out saturday was it or friday and then the rest went out monday uh, Michelle, I got yours, Michelle. It was beautiful. <laughs> or written in or stamped. You can pretty much tell the people that received my cards what order I did your card in by how messy my handwriting is. <laughs> my hand was getting pretty tired at the towards the end. And uh, my handwriting was was getting quite sloppy. So <laughs> those that receive cards, you can pretty much tell where you were in the lineup based on how my handwriting looks. Uh, yeah, that's fun, Betty. A couple of extra ones. This, by the way, see, I get yapping. Uh, two and a quarter by six, if I didn't say it. Oh, good, Michelle. Yes, team ones went out. Team Christmas cards went out first. Family and friends went out second. <laughs> Any indication of priorities? Not at all. <laughs> okay, I'm just cutting this here. Round in the last corner, and then we'll be done. Okay. Here we go, my otter card. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, super simple. Again, this uses the pool party. This one uses the balmy blue. I'd love to know which one you like more. It's so funny. I always think pool party is a blue until I put it next to a blue, and then it looks a little more green to me. But there's the two side by side. I don't know how I want to do this. Let me think. Um, Hold on, I got to find my, oh, goodness. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to do this real time because I only I want to um, only pick from someone that has stuck it out to the very end. So I have, I am going to write your names. If I forget your name, you're going to have to yell it out. Okay, so let's see here. Denise is here. I'm not going to do members of my team because they get other perks for me. Um, Beth Ann is here. There's a little smudge on this and it's really bothering me. Betty's here. Maybe I should do Betty T in case there's two Bettys. 
Heidi T. Joan's here. Thank you, Joan. <laughs> I feel like we need to do roll call. Roll call. Roll call? That's what it's called, right? Beth, did I do you? No, Beth Mills. Who else I got? Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Case away. And then please show me what you make. I always find it so inspiring. Renee is here. I guess I can do my team. Should I do my team? I can do something else for my team. Jill is here. Thank you for the heart. I, If I'm not saying your name, please just drop an emoji or something so I know. And I know there's a little bit of a delay be between what I'm seeing and maybe what you're writing. So if you want a chance at, let me show you what it is. Carol's here. Let me do Carol K. Just in case. Shannon's here. And also, unfortunately, um, I can only ship within the United States. So if you are outside of the United States, I do apologize. But I, per Stampin' Up! rules, I cannot, um, whoops, I cannot ship. So I apologize. I know sometimes people from Canada or wherever watch. And I just, I feel, always feel bad when I draw their names. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I actually can't send you the card. Lori's here. Let's do Lori Seath because I think I saw two Lori's. Anybody else? Oh, Betty, you're in. Oh, I'm sorry, Betty. That makes me so sad. I'm sorry. Listen, Betty, if you are interested in joining um, Stamp Camp, uh, my friend Zara, you can sign up through her. You're very generous with your team all the time. We don't mind. Oh, Jillian, you're the best. Jillian's on my team. She's such a sweetheart. Uh, you like pool party. Denise, did I write here? I wrote down Denise. Okay, anybody else? It shows there's 24 people, but maybe a lot of you are my teammates. <laughs> or outside of the United States. Uh, Trina's here. Oh, yeah, Jatrina. You don't even have, like, if you just, just write your name if you don't feel like commenting, commenting. Tracy, did I, now I'm forgetting who I wrote. This is so chaotic. I'm sorry. This is when, like, an assistant would be good because then... Did I get you, Tracy? Oh, I guess I didn't get you. I don't see Tracy. Um, I love Zara. Zara's the best. She's been such a good friend to me. Such a gift. Wait, hold on. Betty's the one that was in. That's not what I wanted to write. Who's the one I wanted? Tracy's the one I wanted to write. See, I can't multitask. <laughs> Amy's here. I'm here. What was her name? Tracy. Oh, my goodness. I'm like, I have the classic case of squirrel. Okay, that's it. Speak now or forever, hold your peace. I'm not looking down. I know I have no proof of that, but I honestly am not looking down. And again, up for grabs is a sample of the Heart and Home DSP and the denim ribbon. This is part of the same suite. It's gorgeous. Oh, perfect. Good timing. Good timing, Jean. Jean. Okay. Anyone else? Um, this is, again, just how my product share comes. You can, oh, you're getting a glare. You can go to productshare.jamieb.com. You can go to stampcamp.jamieb.com if you're looking to um, get all of those, okay? I'll be announcing them. They'll be on my email and Facebook, all that jazz. Okie dokie. I'm not seeing any other names come through. I know there's a little bit of a delay, but I've been, I've been uh, postponing. Ah! Okay. I'm not looking, okay? It's all under my hand. I'm going to see if I can. This is the one I'm going to pick. Trina, you're my winner. Actually, while we're at it, we'll have Trina win this, and then I'll pick someone else to win the card. We'll pick this name. I don't know who it is. And Shannon, you're going to win the card. There we go. Trina wins the sample of product. Shannon, you win the card. Um, Trina, please, and Shannon, please just get me your uh, mailing addresses or else I can't mail them to you. So congratulations, ladies. Thank you to everyone so, so much for watching till the end. I really appreciate it. Um, I am planning on being back next week, same time, same place, and I hope you'll join me then, okay? Have a great evening, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.